So, how do we make a snare drum? That's very easy. I'm going to go back to my drum group here. I'm going to deactivate these and get the kick drum back on. Okay, I'm going to go back to my bass group here. Go to my mixer. I'm going to create a new massive synth. I'm going to open up the noise oscillator, deactivate oscillator 1, 2, and 3. And just as we did in our drum programming class, I'm going to go up here and put a snare drum on the 2 and the 4 in our 1 bar loop. I'll go back here. Again, I'm going with white noise, add some color. You might not want it as bright as the hi-hat. You can add color if you wish. If you want it to be a bright snare, you can. Or if you want to maybe go a bit darker, you can bring back the color there. Again, I'm going over to my envelope four. I'm bringing all my envelopes to zero. Fast attack, you want it to be snappy. Let's listen to the decay. Okay, let's add some texture to that. Let's go over to FX1 and add some classic tube. Or maybe some reverb. Perhaps some bit crusher. Remember, when you're inserting effects from down here, check your routing. Also, maybe check up here with your filters. Is there anything I can do to add more substance to it, for example? Maybe I could have a high pass filter there to take out any low frequencies that aren't really doing anything for our mix down. So we can shape the sound a bit further by using the filter section. If I go here, low pass. Change my filter routing here. Up to F1. Into serial. And that's it. That's how you can create your own hi-hats and snares using the massive synthesizer.